Hillary Clinton will be speaking shortly now in Tempe, Arizona. The fact that Arizona is even a focus in this final stretch is one of the many surprises in this election. Tonight, a new CNN ORC poll shows Donald Trump leading Hillary Clinton by five points in Arizona, 49 to 44 percent. Gary Johnson at 5 percent, Jill Stein at 1. Arizona has voted uh, for Democratic presidential nominee just once in the last 64 years. Bill Clinton, 96, which is to say it is dependably red. But this year, there are signs that it maybe, possibly could turn blue. Votes are pouring in. Kyung Lai tonight has more. Early votes in Arizona. Now being counted in this glassed off, secured room in Maricopa County. Every move webcast on multiple cameras to the public. The votes boxed. Then sealed. Unofficial early vote totals from Arizona's Secretary of State shows as of today, registered Republicans are outpacing Democrats by six percentage points. But in 2012, with one week to go, Republicans had an even bigger lead, outpacing Democrats by 10 percent. Mitt Romney won the state by nine points. This reliably red state, now a battleground because of voters like Luz Gomez, a new U.S. citizen, a new Democrat in Arizona. With Trump, I don't trust him. You know, I think he's more doing this for fun or for um, just to be on TV. Millennials like Nicole Crook also voting blue. Do you feel the state changing? I do. I do. I feel a lot of the older people are being a little more liberal and the younger people are having more of a presence. Across Arizona, early voting isn't just up, it's way up. Scott Brenner, Christina. More than half of all projected ballots have already been cast. Julie Norwood, Chris, Sam Tober. In primarily Republican Scottsdale, Arizona, early voters are waiting more than an hour. This is the busiest. We've never seen early voting like we've seen this time. Never. Never. Waiting to vote, Laura White, a lifelong Republican, the face of a changing Arizona. May I ask, who did you vote for for president? I pretty much, I'm a registered Republican and I pretty much voted Democratic all the way across. I did. I think Donald Trump is corrupt. And I don't know any other word but to say. He's part of the problem. And we've heard that about Hillary Clinton as well. Yes, yes we have. Even with the latest Clinton email controversy, it's not enough to flip her back to the GOP. The emails did affect Republican Carl Owens, who wrote in independent Evan McMullen for president. He's frankly disgusted with 2016. Trust factor with uh, Hillary and Trump. Where do I begin? <laughs> When you hear that Arizona is in play, that Arizona could go blue, what's your reaction? My first reaction is makes you nervous. It should. Robert Graham is Arizona's Republican Party chairman. He's watching the early vote numbers and the smaller GOP spread. Are you concerned about that spread? I was, I was a week and a half ago. Now I'm not. We had to turn up the volume a little bit to make sure that we really executed on this great operational structure that we have statewide. Please. The state GOP now pulling out all the stops to get out their vote and seeing day-by-day -day growth in the number of registered Republicans early voting, like Blaine Erskine. I think it's going to be closer than it ever has been, but I do think that it will stay red. So. As far as Hillary Clinton being in Arizona. And when they're not spending in other states, it gives us opportunity to pick up those other states. So you're saying she's wasting time and money here? Absolutely. I, I would, you know, I'd... I would be happy to take her out to lunch and share with her all the reasons why she should probably go somewhere else. Uh, here's what Arizona's GOP uh, chairman cannot tell us. They know the early vote tally. They know the registered Republicans that they're ahead. They don't know how they voted. Did they cross party lines? Just like the Democrats don't know if registered Democrats are indeed voting for Hillary Clinton. What we can tell you, Anderson, is that everyone we spoke with, they do feel like for the first time ever, Arizona Democrats are in the game. Anderson.